Welcome to part 3 of the modular environment design in Blender for game engines. This course is easy to follow and even though I'm using hard ops and box cutter you should be fine in vanilla Blender if you know the basic tools. Now if you don't know the basic tools I would highly recommend our free course for beginners called Jumpstart Hard Surface in Blender. It will get you up to speed in a matter of days saving you a lot of time and frustration. The link is in the description like I said the course is free. Now if you get stuck during any of these courses feel Feel free to join our Discord channel with almost 4,000 people over there and a help section so you should never get stuck again. Link is down below. Enjoy. Right guys, in this part we're gonna be designing the windows. So uh, I haven't decided yet but I'm gonna be extending this part forward. Uh, or just making the windows deeper, uh, deeper, but we will see. Now, uh, the easiest way to do that would be to simply select this bit here, shift the X, move it in here with control, and grab this edge here and extend it this way. So, boom. And that's our uh, bottom part. So now, before we start doing anything with this, what we need to do is fix the solidification problem. So go to normals and click on even thickness. So when we're gonna be extracting it, it's gonna be actually even even uh, thickness of the uh, of this plate. So grab this edge and uh, go to side view and E and hold control and move it here so it aligns, and then E and hold control and snap it to the top of uh, this structure here, and then E X and move it in here. Now let me just snap it properly here. G X and that's snapped and then we're gonna grab these in you know, occlude mode and drop them down a bit so GZ and you know boom okay and that's perfectly snapped all right now we're gonna apply scale and we're gonna grab these uh, these edges here okay and bevel them so 10 segments will do you can even go eight if you want to I think it's you know that's fine as well um, should be enough so sharpen okay cool so that's that and we need to close it off yeah so what we're gonna do is go to edit mode and you need to be in this pass through option Control r and then g and uh, hold Control and move this edge here on you know x-axis so it aligns with this thickness here and then we need to go to the uh, just turn it off, grab these faces and remove them. Well, let's apply the solidification first. So select that and smart apply, and then select this face here, these faces here, and remove them. And then let's simply select these and press F, select these and And press F and these two and F. Then go to operations and clean mesh and then select this and actually I think it's cleaned already. Yeah, yeah it's cleaned. So now let's check if we can uh, you know bevel this no problem. Yeah we can bevel this without problem. Perfect. So that's one piece. And then you need to see if this is actually you know deep enough. I think it's okay you know it's gonna it's gonna work perfectly for us. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy that. So select this part here and uh, Q and shift click on curve extract and hold control when you get close to the edge here, boom. So it's gonna snap perfectly, um, you know, in this area, right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy that. So shift D, uh, Y, copy this in here. Let's just apply this operation, smart apply. Grab this one, this face and gy and you know move it all the way all the way down here so boom right so it snaps on the edge and then Control r uh, let's go to occlude Control r and you know move this edge here and then let's just remove the faces so remove that uh, face and select all these and f and select these and F and these two and F and then clean mesh and you're done and then just check if the you know bevel is working bevel is working 
cool. I think it should be a bit higher because uh, remember there's going to be a roof on top of it. So if you're going to turn the ceiling on, yeah, there you go. What we need to do is make sure that this is a little bit, uh, you know, higher. Okay, so let's go to side view and uh, let's go to uh, verts and let's go to occlude. And what we can do is grab all of these up to here. If you grab only these, this bevel is going to get distorted because you're going to move this one up and the angle is going to change here. You need to move it from here where the angle, you know, when the at the edges are uh, um, vertical, okay? So G, Z and hold control and you need to snap it up to the top. Okay, and then we're done. So this is, you know, this is a perfect fit here, okay? So what you can do with this one, you can move it anywhere you want and create windows whenever you want because you got two corners, right? So let's turn off the ceiling for a sec because it's going to interfere with what we want to do. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create windows, okay? So, you know, the easiest way to create windows is gonna be just simply come from the top with a box cutter and select this one and basically cut it. Uh, we might use this, uh, you know, um, the grid. Let's make it a bit bigger and maybe, maybe cut it like this and then cut it through all the way. Mm, that's actually too deep in my opinion but I'm going to shift click it to live and I'm going to GX and move it in here like this, okay? Don't end your cut on the bevel, it's gonna be a bad idea, there's a bevel going on here, right? And now you see this one is really badly angled, so to combat this we can grab a loop here and GX and move it in until this angle here, okay? You can hold control, you see, snap it to 90 degrees. This angle is going to be nice and angled. Okay, this one here. And the same in the bottom, okay? So what you can do is grab this and drop a loop here, here, okay? Like this. Grab this one and GX and, you know, move it in here and snap it. So we can go to side view with this and grab these two verts, okay? select this one um, and actually let's grab the bottom ones select this one alt a and left boom and you got straight angle so now you have a straight angle here and you have straight angle here which is great okay and then we're gonna shift this boolean to uh, you know shift it to slash and then we're gonna select this shift select this and copy mod and you got yourself a really cool window right so there you go. And then all you need to do is copy to the other side. Now, we can of course move it, you know, back and forth. We can make it a little bit narrower. So S, Y, and make it a bit narrower. We could make it, you know, exactly, let's say, uh, let me just go to edit mode and select these and GX, GY, sorry, and I'll go to the top view, GY and snap it here. It's not super accurate, but we can make it super accurate. There we go. And now we can see if this window isn't too wide. It could be a little bit too wide, you know, it could be a little bit narrower. So what we could do here, for example, we could do something like this. Uh, so it's a bit narrower. Because what I'm thinking about is to run some kind of a panel here in the middle, okay? So I don't want to make it too wide. And I'll shift DY and move this cutter here with control. Exactly the same spot and difference. And in fact, you can go with slash, you know. So let's just shift bool and click. Select this one, select this one, and copy material. So now we got these going on, and let's grab these two, actually one of them, and move it to cutters. Now the middle part, you know, we can have a window, but we don't have to. We can have a panel here, but we could have a window as well. Uh, you know, it's up to you really what you want to do. Uh, also, this, these windows could be beveled. It's going to look a little bit better. So what we can do is select both of them and, you know, select this edge here and this edge here and this these whoops uh, these two edges here and these two edges here wait a minute this one we need to turn off this one and one more time six segments i think six is enough uh, we could actually apply scale and do it again it's gonna be a bit better. There you go, and shift two. How are we looking? Yeah, we're looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. So there you go. 
it just corresponds with the uh, you know round um, angles and uh, sorry the, the values of all the other elements like doors windows etc right so it kind of you know fits i would keep this as is to be honest uh, we can always create some kind of a pillar here or some kind of like a, you know um, um sort of a structure so maybe no window here is a good idea uh, we could create create very narrow windows this would also look interesting but quite frankly i'm gonna leave it like that now the windows itself they're gonna be too thick so uh, once the cutter is applied we're gonna uh, run a loop in the middle and we're gonna make them a bit more narrow so it's gonna be some kind of a um, illusion of not illusion but it's gonna be kind of like a ceiling around them so we're gonna fix it later this is basically you know a block out still guys okay so you know we're blocking out the whole environment okay we're making sure that everything is peachy basically this looks really cool now what we need to do is bring one of our humans in here and see how it looks uh, so let's uh, grab our human and let's go to the top view and then G shift C move it somewhere here and you know um, let's see that with a ceiling okay so ceiling and then let's see that yeah that looks good remember this part's gonna be elevated so she's gonna be a bit taller I mean a bit higher so that's gonna look really cool these windows are very panoramic looks really cool um, this area is going to be lower, which means if I'm going to put it close to the window, this is perfect. So everything looks, you know, looks uh, properly scaled. These um, doors are smaller than windows, but that's okay. This is a lab, could be some pressured environment, etc. So, you know, door, doors do not have to be so massive. And we have a lot of room here for all kinds of stuff. So let's apply a weighted normals here, here, and, you know, here. Okay perfect so okay guys well this would be it for i think for this part um you know we have everything set up now what we're going to be doing in the next part we're going to be refining all these elements okay because you know now once we design the environment we know exactly what kind of elements we need all we need to do now is simply refine them so we're going to refine the doors we're going to refine the windows we're going to add some elements to them and we're going to be replacing uh, just simply you know all these window elements with uh, the updated one so of course also I see that my window is missing and so shift G immediate children grab this one shift D cancel go to local select this one and operations unique with I grab this empty and move this window here GY and move it here there we go I was missing a window because so I will need this element to properly, uh, you know, uh, design the doors, design the, uh, design the, you know, the windows, etc. Also, we're going to be designing kind of like a, a panels running on the bottom and the top and additional elements on the walls. Uh, so we still have a lot to do, but basically the block order environment is ready now. You can do whatever you want with it. You know, you can design whichever way you want. Um, like I, you know, like you, like you've seen, this is very modular, so you can keep slapping, you know, and snapping, and do whatever you want with it. You can create, you know, maybe even multiple levels, uh, uh, etc. So your imagination is the limit. So anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching, and I see you in the next part. The next part, we're gonna be refining all these elements. Probably start with the doors.